Well, now that we know the extent of surplus in America, let us consider what can be done about it. Is it a necessary evil? Is it something science is unable to fight, or is it simply too powerful for the human race to cope with? I was born in Denmark. Some years ago, I went back for a visit. I was amazed at their progress in the field of venereal disease, and I took some home movies. You can see for yourself how Denmark attacks the problem. There is one of the big community clinics in Copenhagen, Denmark. There is a young couple entering the clinic together for blood tests before getting married. There is no shame attached. No questions of secrecy. When Danes or Swedes or Norwegians hear that syphilis is a naughty word in America, they laugh. They wonder what's wrong with us. Because in their countries, syphilis is looked upon the same as any other sickness or disease. This is the inside of a Copenhagen clinic. People get regular blood tests, and so the health departments can keep a close check on any spreading of the disease. Thus, the disease is caught and treated immediately. And the chain of infections, so disastrous to us, is broken at the source. Well, <laughs> that isn't censorship or shame cutting that patient's head off as he gets a shot of arsenic. It's just my bad movie shooting. For in Copenhagen, it's no crime to have syphilis. It's only a crime not to take treatment for syphilis. For then you endanger everyone with whom you come in contact. They don't sneak down back alleys. They don't hide the disease. They don't whisper about it back of their hands. No, they face the problem openly and honestly. Well, the question is, does their system work any better? Does bringing the discussion of syphilis into the open accomplish anything? Well, here's the result. The population of New York State is roughly equal to that of Sweden, Norway, and Denmark combined. Each of the little figures represents 2,000 new cases of syphilis reported a year. So in the last year, before the Nazi invasion, New York State, one of the most progressive states in fighting syphilis, had 50,000 new cases reported. Denmark, Norway and Sweden combined had only 2,000. So now we know fact number two. Syphilis can be stamped out as widespread as it is in our country today. We could almost completely wipe it out in no time. It's all very well to talk in terms of figures and countries representing millions of people, but the question is, what can you and I as individuals do about it? Well, first thing you must do is to have a blood test. Yes, I mean you. The need for a blood test means you and me as well as the village idiot. Go to your family doctor, or if you can't afford a private physician, go to your local health clinic. I'll show you what to do. Come along. We'll call on a young private doctor I know. Come along. Here we are. Won't you come in? Don't be afraid. Come on in. Colonel Jensen to see you, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. How do you do, Doctor? Hello, Colonel. What's the matter? Need a prescription for orange juice and castor oil? No, I've come for a blood test. Oh, good idea. I had one myself last week. I brought some friends along. I want them to see how it's done. Splendid. Everybody should know all about blood tests. Will you come this way? Well, come on.
There's no more pain than a slight pinprick. The doctor draws off only about a spoonful of blood. I'll send this to the laboratory and you should have your report tomorrow afternoon. This is what most people call a Wasserman test. Will you explain that, doctor? Yes. Actually, our new test is an improvement over the Wasserman. We now have about five or six new and better blood tests, absolutely accurate. But the public calls them all the Wasserman test. The main thing is that to tell if any spirochetes are in the body. That's right. A blood test is the best and most accurate check on spirochetes. Yes? Well, you see, that's all there is to it. And yet, think of the millions of dollars, the thousands of tragedies, the millions of wrecked lives, which could be saved with so little effort. Thank you. Goodbye, doctor. Fact number three. The way to stamp out syphilis is for everyone to take blood tests. And wherever syphilis is located, have it treated and cured. Well, it sounds like ABC, doesn't it? Well, it's that easy, and it's up to you. I don't know about you, but I hate the idea of the Swedes, Norwegians, and Danes thinking we're a bunch of superstitious idiots. Let's show them we're as adult and intelligent as they are. Let that be our plan of conquest, the conquest of disease. 